One of the questions people have to wonder, though, is with the Affordable Care Act, are these profitable customers? Are these customers who come in who pressure your margins? We don't know yet. We have 600,000 of those customers um, as a result of the Affordable Care Act. We don't know what their margins are. We know they are sicker. We know 87% of them are subsidized. We know they are older. So we expect that they're going to use more health care. We believe we have that in our price. So we would expect that the premium should cover it. But we don't expect the margins to be what our traditional margins are. You must have expected that the self-selection process would have led to older and sicker. But the, were the numbers worse or than you expected? The numbers were worse than we expected. By a lot? Uh, by, by, no, by a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't a huge difference. And I think that was because a lot more younger people came into the system later in the enrollment period in April and May. We picked up two-thirds of our growth in April and May. So we're still trying to figure that out. The utilization won't settle out for another quarter yet, so it'll be the third quarter. But we do see the demographics is skewing a little older, a little sicker, expect higher utilization. We price this business as business at lower margins, you know, in the 3 to 5% range. And we expect that that will mature over time, so it takes some time to get them. But we didn't plan for any earnings as a result of this population. So we don't have that in our guidance or in our expectations. The younger people, are, are they sticking with their premiums? Are they paying? I would think that there's less incentive for them to... We're seeing some attrition, and yeah. we're not quite sure the demographics of the attrition yet. The back-end operating system of the exchanges is not yet up and running, so the operational accounting of ad change and deleted. Yeah.